Hey people, I'm gonna make a tutorial for Seth Evett, uh, Save Part of Yourself for Me by Brandy Carlyle. Uh, I'm gonna break it down to first the verse, then the chorus, and then the interlude. So let's get to it. So I'm just gonna show you which chords are being used in the verse. There's a G. There's a C, there's an E minor, and there's, I, I don't know the official name for this chord, but I'm just gonna call it E minor with a fifth bass note. Um, and that is it. Except the last verse, he also uses a D7. Um, so let's start with the G. I'm going to show you how to put your fingers first. That's a G, and then a C. And then the E minor. And then the E minor with a fifth bass note. And then the D7. So I'm going to show you how to finger pick it. There is no strumming. This is just finger picking. So if you start with a G, I'm going to do it slowly. That is basically it all, all the way through. But what you have to keep in mind when playing this song is this from alternating always. Keep that going throughout the whole song. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show it again. Close up. really slow and that is basically it throughout the whole song so it goes if you speed up like this get to C, then you take this, the C bass note, and then back to G, and then E minor, and fifth, uh, E minor with fifth bass note. So I'm going to play the whole verse now. There is this uh, one part in the song, actually, where he just uh, um, alternates the bass 
and then moves on. So I'm gonna show you. And he does this, and then E minor. You can say it's kind of a small break. So I'm gonna do one more, uh, slowly one more time. From from the C. the chorus <coughs> what you're gonna need there is an A minor and the E minor with a fifth bass note and a G and a C and then a G but a berry berry uh, yeah I showed how to take the chords in the previous video, so you can just see there again. Uh, it's the same picking pattern as in the verse, with the only exception uh, of the last sentence. Okay, so it goes like from E minor. So it goes from C and then the G barre uh, chord and there he plucks this and these two. So now I'm gonna play the chorus. Now to the interlude, um, which is probably the most significant part of the song. You are gonna need a G, a C, an A minor, and a A minor with fifth bass note, and then back to G. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can watch how to take the chords in the first part of the video. So now I'm going to show you how to pick the interlude. I am sorry, I can't uh, split the screen so you can see both my hand movements at the chords and the finger picking because I don't have that capability. Uh, so you just, yeah, you just have to live with it. But this is how a finger pick it. slowly
Okay, that was the finger picking. Now I'm gonna show you what I do up here with the chords. So, and then you lift the little finger and play one more time the last string. And you put the little finger up here. So. So it's play the last string again. We put the pinky on the string above. fingers cold so and then the G and then like the A the A minor with the fifth bass note and then G again so show you how to play the whole interlude now. play uh, the whole song now so you can hear it in its wholeness <laughs> <laughs> I hope you liked this tutorial and uh, I'm sorry for well, the lack of quality and the editing, but I gotta make use of what I got. If you find it useful and you liked it, give it a thumbs up and happy learning. <laughs>